Hello. In this session, we are going to look at a walkthrough through uh, to the AWS console. So once you're done creating your AWS account and once you log into your AWS account, this is uh, more or less this is what you will see. So this is the this is the console that we have. So and here you should be able to access all the resources, all the services uh, that you have in AWS. So in this session, we will just look at all the options that you have how you can navigate through the console and uh, how you can you know uh, move through the services how you can access the service and all those things uh, once again before we start off with this session please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so let's get started with this now the first thing you are going to look at is here on the extreme right you should be able to your use you should be able to see your username so when you create the account you basically give a username and that is what you will be able to see here then when you click on that these are the options you see the first thing you have is your account now every time you create your aws account there is a unique 12 digit account id that gets uh, created for you and uh, we, we can consider this as your account identifier and aws uses use uh, uses this to identify your aws account so this is my account id and then we have the account option when you click on this you should be able to see some details about your account like your account id your email address your address information and all that information will be available for you so here you can see how the account id you have the uh, account name your contact information uh, what are the regions that are enabled for you all that information related to your account will be available and you also have this close account option so at any point uh, if you no longer want to use your account you can go ahead and close the account as well the next option we have is our organization we will be looking at this uh, at a later point but generally organization is used when you have multiple aws accounts and if you want to manage multiple aws accounts we can make use of your organization then you have the service quotas now by default when you create your aws account there is a default limitation that is set as to the number of resources that you can create for example let's say if you're talking about your ec2 service so what is the uh, uh, default applied quota uh, what is the applied quota value and whether you can increase it or not for example here if you see you have ami so that means by default i can have 50000 amis and the applied value is 50000 can i increase that value yes i can increase that value uh, likewise attachments per uh, vpc so default uh, applied quota value is 5 default applied quota value is 5 and can i increase it no so basically here you can see what is the applied value the quota that you have what is the default value and whether you can increase it or not so likewise you should be able to see the information for all the services in aws then you have the billing dashboard now again uh, i told you in the last session you know once you create the account the account you call it as a free tier account however not everything is free there is a certain limitation so once you start using your aws account and if you're getting charged and if you want to see the information about your billing you can make use of this section for that so here you should be able to see a summary uh, what is your cost you should be able to see your invoices and you should be able to clear those invoices from this section so as of now i don't have any cost that's why this is empty but once once you start using it you should be able to see that information here then i have the security credentials now uh, you know if you want to set up your mfa like two-step authentication or multi-factor authentication or you want to set up access key and secret keys all those things you can set up by making use of this security setting so here you can see your account information your mfa access key and secret key so we will be looking at some of these uh, later on and uh, then you have the settings so you can use this to uh, change your language change your region and all those things now by default when you log into the console there is a region that is set uh, you can change this to any region you want we'll talk about this in a bit and then you have the sign out option which will log out from your account so these are the options that are available here then on the left hand side you have the region so you know by default when you log into the account by default you'll have your ohio as your region however you can choose any region you want to walk uh, use now what all regions regions are nothing but your data centers so these are your collections of data centers and uh, here ideally you choose a region which is closest to your customers to your 
user so you know depending on where your users are where your targeted users are depending on that you will be selecting your regions and all these regions are isolated from each other so whatever the resources you will create in one region it will not be available in the other regions all right so these are collections of data centers then you can see this question mark now here you have the uh, support center so support center is like your customer care so if there are any issues with your account or you want to talk to someone uh, from aws you can make use of this support center uh, now under the free tag you get only account and billing support you don't get the technical support so if you are under the business or enterprise uh, plan you will have the technical support as well now let's say you're having some issues so you know uh, with your account or with your billing you have the option of creating a case which is nothing but a ticket so account and billing so under this let's say i'm having some issues with my billing and uh, i want to inquire about some charges and then click on additional information where you can give a subject as to what issue you're having you can do a description about it and then how do you want to resolve this so you have the option of talking to someone so you can chat to chat with someone you can ask aws to call you back or you can uh, uh, have the discussion via email and then when you click on submit a ticket will be created and then someone from aws will reach out to you so this is more of your customer care then you have the expert help now expert help is a new option that aws has introduced where you can work as a freelancer so if you have done certification so the prerequisite for this is you should have completed your certification any of the aws certification if you have completed you can work as a freelancer over here so you'll have you know people posting requests and if it suits you you can bid for it and you can uh, do the freelancing work for that however like i said the prerequisite for this is you should have completed at least one of the certification then you have repost now this is a blogging site uh, uh, dedicated for aws so you know you can uh, if you have any questions related to aws or any discussions you want to get into you can make use of this uh, uh, repost so you can find answers you can access the knowledge center reuse best practices you can join a group to connect with aws partners and employees and you can start contributing to this so like for example these are recent questions so aws pricing calculator issue or how to uh, monitor bandwidth network usage so likewise you'll have different different questions and if you know the answers to this you can uh, post the answer as well then you have your documentation now anything you want to know in aws it is available in this documentation so um, you know this is this is like the uh, complete information related to aws related to all the services so let's say for example we are talking about this S3 service. So you'll have the documentation available for that. So here, let's say we're looking at the user guide. So this will have the complete information as to what is S3, how to get started with it. You'll have some tutorials. So the complete documentation, the step-by-step -step instructions, everything will be available within this documentation. And this is available for all the services. So any services that you want to look at, you have the information available for that in the form of documentation then we have your uh, training now if you're interested in getting trained from aws either digital training or classroom training this is the section for that so depending on your role so let's say you're a developer you can explore the trainings for developers right so here beginners start over here and then you will get the complete information so uh, with this you will be generally uh, having an account will be creating a separate account, but you know uh, you can uh, enroll to this you know developer learning plan so here you will have the learning structure right so what all things that will be covered you can look at this right and depending on the trainings that you're taking some of the trainings will be free and some of the trainings will be chargeable then you have the getting started resource uh, center now this is some hands-on uh, projects that are available for you so you know uh, let's say for example here explore our all tutorials you should be able to see that so depending on schedule a serverless workflow train your ml models with aws trainium and amazon SageMaker, publish a dotnet application to a windows server 2022 instance in amazon light, light sale so you'll have the step-by-step -step instructions so 
you know, overview what you will accomplish, the prerequisites, and then the implementation. So you'll have the step-by-step -step instructions as well. So this is for you to get more comfortable, get more understanding of how AWS uh, services work. Then finally, have the send feedback, which can be used to, you know, if you want to give some general feedback or you want to request for a feature or some issue, all that information you can share as a feedback. Then there are this bell icon. Now, if at any point, if AWS is facing any issues, it could be related to any services or any regions or any planned maintenance. All that information will be available over here. So you can say as of now, we don't have any open issues. We don't have any schedule changes or there are no other notifications. All that information will be available over here. Now on the left hand side here, you can see this logo that you see, that's basically the home page. When you click on that, it will take you to the home page. So this is the home page that we have. And uh, here you should be able to see some of the recently visited services. So as you start working with AWS, as you start uh, working with different, different services, some of the services, the recently visited services will be available over here. And this is the overall health of your AWS. This will be your cost and usage. So as of now, we don't have any cost and usage, but once you, uh, uh, once you start incurring the cost, this will get populated automatically. Uh, you have some, Again, some uh, documentation on how to launch a virtual machine, how to start a development project, how to register a domain. And again, you can look at the documentations, some of the latest announcements and some of the blog posts, all that information will be available here in the home page. Now, you can also look at all the services. So here, this is one option, view all services, which will show you all the services that are available in AWS. So this is basically the list of all the services provided by AWS. So you have compute, containerization, storage, database, uh, networking, IoT, machine learning, analytics. So likewise, you will have all the services available over here. Uh, this is one way. The other way is here also you can see services which are categorized. So let's say database, these are the databases you have. Containers, these are the containers you have. Uh, blockchain, this is the service you have. Compute, this is the services you have. So this is another way for you to navigate from services to services. And if you know which service you're looking for, you can also search for the services. So let's say uh, S3, okay, which is one of the service. And here you should be able to get the results of it. So this is the another way for you to navigate uh, to your services. And again, when I click on this, this will take me back to the home page. All right. So these are uh, some of the options you have in the console. And you know, this is this is something that you should be familiar with because it's something that you will be doing on a day to day basis. But this is how you can navigate on your AWS console. All right. Now, in the next session, we will be starting off with your first service, which is your IAM service. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.